I'm here with Bestwood United manager Steve Chow following their Tuesday evening defeat 2-1 to Matlock Town. Um, Steve, your overall thoughts on the game, please? Very poor. Uh, we gave ourselves too much to do first half. I just spoke inside about tactics, formations, uh, and everything else. Got the window when you make two personal errors like we did first half. You know, Brad's got to take his meds on the halfway line. Steph says that their strikers tried to keep us, so he's left it, which is irrelevant. You know, he's got to clear the ball, he's got to deal with the first one. So we gave ourselves too much to do, in my opinion. We changed it at half time, we were better, they had a man sent off. You know, we huffed and puffed, scored a goal, but in the end, we weren't good enough to win. You mentioned basics and formations and everything like that. Are they, I think the key difference in midfield was second and third balls. Just even not... first balls, even first balls, Alex. You know, we played too many long balls in the first half. Uh, you know, we've got strikes up there who want to play, and you know, we've fed, we've fed straight into their hands. Really, they we knew what they're about. You know, we watched them twice. We had the video for a match at the weekend. We know they're aggressive in the press. Um, we had to be better. We had to cope with it. You know, we picked up maybe two or three second balls first half, but not enough. Uh, and that, you know, that got on top of us. Uh, but like I say, first and errors, I don't think Adams had a shot to save in the second half. Uh, but we didn't create enough guilt edge chances to, you know, to get something out of the game, which I've said inside. And then obviously, you, men you mentioned the sending off, it did, it did change the game. Um, most of the front stadium inside weren't really sure what it was about. I think he slung an arm at Steph, to be fair. I think the tassel for the ball, I think he swung an arm. I'd, you know, I didn't see any impact. Uh, Steph said he caught him in the face. Uh, if so, you know, I've nothing I can do about it. So. Absolutely, 100%. And then, obviously, the manner at the end of the game, uh, there was ruckus, there was uh, all, all sorts of stuff. Obviously, you pride yourself on discipline and calmness and correctness. Is that yeah, something that's disappointing? Well? So I said in the side, you know, we've got a corner in the last minute of the game. There's a million people around the goalkeeper, and as soon as the ball comes in the box, the referee's going to blow the whistle. Play smart to get out the way and give yourselves an opportunity to try and get an equaliser in the game. Don't go and play with your, you know, with your heart and get all emotional about things. Have a cool head about things and try and play the game properly. You know, OC's been around a long time. Wade's a new kid learning his trade, but we have to be smarter as a group. Absolutely. And then obviously looking forward to Atherton on, on Saturday. Yeah. Obviously again a quick turnaround from Tuesday to Saturday, but there'll be a few changes made surely. We'll see what we're like Thursday. Uh, we made some change off time. Obviously Rev came in. Uh, we took young Nat out, nothing that Nat done wrong, you know, it just, it came past him by a little bit, he's not used to that in where he's come from, you know, and he'll learn, you know, he'll learn to get more minutes on the pitch, he'll learn to play in games like that, but today I took him out, put Rev on, I think it's Rev who gets the goal in the end uh, to get us 2-1, but no, like I said, it, it's not Nathaniel uh, Peters' problem, you know, it's a collective problem, tonight we weren't good enough. Thanks Steve. No worries.